Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out, and today we've got something just a little different for you. Uh, we're going to do a top 10 list because it's the end of the year, and uh, by gosh, it's time to do a top 10 list of this year. So this top 10 list is going to focus on Marvel Legends. Uh, so a few rules that I set for myself on this is it had to come out this year, I had to have bought it, and uh, it can't be any sort of custom or kit bash or anything like that. So this guy, unfortunately, I love this figure. This is probably one of my favorites because it's me. It looks like me. You guys don't know what I look like because I'm always behind the camera. But uh, imagine this, but not as, as buff and more fat. And that's me. Uh, but anyway, so let's get to it and start counting down these top 10 Marvel Legends of 2018. <laughs> Coming in at number 10, we've got the Marvel Legends uh, Crossbones Cap 2-Pack Captain America. Uh, I know we've seen this body a thousand times, but with that face, that face, that beautiful face, look at that face, that Chris Evans face, um, that's what does it for me. Um, this is one of the best uses of that 3D uh, face printing technology. It looks just like the actor, and it's a fantastic update to this figure. Also, I'm going to take this head and put it on the stealth suit, which you can do. And uh, that's going to be my uh, Infinity War uh, Part 2. I don't know if I should spoil it. I'm sure everybody's seen the trailer by now. In game, right? Okay. Uh, that's going to be my in game cap. So uh, there's number 10. Coming in at number 9, we've got the Apocalypse Wave uh, Marvel Legends Wolverine. And uh, I just love this figure because uh, it's articulated great. That Wolverine body is fantastic. And the Jim Lee uh, cartoon Wolverine was always, you know, that was my Wolverine, uh, was the yellow and blue. So, so happy to have that. That's finally the costume that I think Wolverine should be in, in my mind. I don't know why, but that's the one that I associate with them. So, number nine. Number eight happens to be the Sauron Wave Marvel Legends Deadpool in boxer shorts. Um, I like this because Deadpool's a uh, fun character for me. Uh, I think that he's, you know, he embodies kind of what action figures should be about. Even if you don't like the character, he does make a fun action figure. I mean, this guy's in his underwear, you know, sporting guns and his cheesy smile. Uh, he's just, just a fun figure. If you don't enjoy this, then what are you doing here? Number seven, the... Uh, other half of the pack that I mentioned earlier is the Crossbones from the Marvel Legends Cap Crossbones 2-Pack. Just an overall fantastic figure. All new sculpt, beautiful, you know, beautiful looks. I wonder if this is the same pants that we're going to get for that uh, Killmonger figure next year. It kind of looks like it. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but just a, a character that, you know, I've wanted since the movie came out. I always thought he was cool looking and uh, just super, super happy to finally have him in hand. Didn't help that, uh, or didn't hurt, excuse me, that he had the uh, alternate blown up head that looked really great too so uh fantastic figure coming in at number seven number six is a figure that i did not expect to uh like that much it's the marvel legends magic walgreens exclusive um i really didn't expect to like this figure this much but as soon as i picked her up i haven't put her down since uh i love the armor Love the overall aesthetic. I think it's a really cool looking character. And I've done a lot of research on this character since I've gotten the figure. Uh, which means that this is a great figure. Because I, I didn't even know who this was at first. And now uh, it's one of my top figures of the year. So, number six. Fifth place goes out to the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. Uh, great figure, looks fantastic. Um, this is the one from the three pack, not the one that was the build a figure. The one with the build a figure was a little too dark, uh, in my opinion. He didn't really, you know, look that screen accurate. But this guy was a huge improvement. You can swap that hand out on the Infinity Gauntlet for that fisted one from the build a figure, bah, if you want. And uh, so that makes it have a lot more posing options. And it's just, I mean, how could you not include Thanos on a top ten? for this year specifically. Fantastic, beautiful sculpt, just a great figure overall. Super stoked to have that. And 
spot number four goes into another figure that I've been waiting for. Uh, I feel like since that movie first came out, um, this is the yellow jacket that I've always wanted since a couple years ago. Um, fantastic articulation, beautiful sculpt, completely individualized for his costume. I love the translucent, you know, little pieces here where you can see his face behind that. And just, that was a really cool character design, you know, with the, the extra little, you know, tendril, or not tendrils, but little, you know, squigglies coming off of him, whatever you want to call those things, arms, I don't know. But he just, he looks mean, he looks menacing. I know he wasn't that great of a villain, but he's a good looking villain, and I'm super stoked. I, I keep saying that. I'm super happy to have him. I'm very, very pleased with this figure. So spot number three goes to our first Build-A-Figure so far, uh, the Call Obsidian Build-A-Figure. And this thing is just beautiful. Um, it's not 100% screen accurate, but just a completely unique, beautiful sculpt. I mean, giant, crazy, lizard-looking dude with horns everywhere and scales and armor. And I mean, this again, this is what action figure collecting is all about, in my opinion. In, in my you know estimation and why I love action figures is stuff like this. Crazy lizard man does it for me, you know. And I think this is the craziest lizard man this year. So number three goes to Cole Obsidian. And we're down to the hardest choices here, the top two spots. And spot number two, I had to give it to Spider Punk. He was very, very close to having the number one spot. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and I love it. And I love all the ridiculous Spider-Mans. That's my favorite thing, is all the crazy different Spider-Mans that they can come up with. Um, and this guy is just one of the craziest. You know, the jean jacket, the spiky mohawk head, the uh, what are these like I guess these are supposed to be vans or something um, the high tops but just overall fantastic figure I'm actually started to read uh, spider Geddon I think is the one he's in now uh, but I've re been reading spider Geddon mostly because it's got this guy in it um, so spot number two well-deserved spider punk <laughs> And the number one spot for Best Marvel Legend of 2018 goes to... I'm just kidding. It's the Sauron Build-A-Figure. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, no, this is, this is fantastic right here. This is what action figuring is. This is, you know, crazy dinosaur man. I said that Call Obsidian was a crazy lizard man. Uh, but this guy just takes the cake. Winged, giant wings. I mean... Look at that wingspan. I can't even hardly fit it in the in frame because it's so big. So big and so ridiculous. Giant lizard, triceratops, crazy mad scientist, turn triceratops. I, I can't even can't even speak around this thing because it's so crazy good. Love this figure. It's obviously the best figure of 2018, in my opinion. So what did you guys think? Who's your favorite Marvel legend this year? What are your top ten? Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know. Um, obviously, these are mine. Uh, I'm also going to do another video later this week. It's going to be top 10 action figures this year. Not just Marvel Legends, but everything. Maybe some of these guys will make an appearance. Maybe they won't. But uh, either way, um, you know, give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully, I'd like to do more things like this. This is a lot of fun. Um, just kind of picking out which ones are my favorite. It's, it's a hard call. Um, they had a lot of Marvel Legends this year and a lot of really good ones. But these are the ones that did it for me, and uh, I hope you liked it. Um, check us out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out. And uh, in the meantime, keep trying to figure me out. Hit like, hit subscribe.